isostasy is principle that determines stability of earth's crust okay remember this, this is the principle and as a principle it is something like a natural law okay it's a principle that determines the stability of the earth's crust okay can give me examples of some other principles of nature they say okay, the principle of inertia okay the principle of uh, gravitation the principles around energy energy conservation now see when we talk about principles do we ask question why do we ask yes we also have flotation principles the archimedes a flotation principle yes do we ask why why do we have inertia can you explain why do we have gravitation no these are like eternal laws these are the basis of how our earth operates how things happen they are like universal laws yes we just accept that is how it is so remember that about isostasy isostasy is like a principle it's like a natural law natural law mein why nahi puchte hain okay we don't ask why we just accept it that this is kind of a natural law that decides the stability of the earth's crust okay isostasy decides isostasy decides how material on the earth's crust is distributed and how tall elevations how tall elevations balance and stabilize themselves isostasy okay decides how the material on the earth's crust is distributed okay how tall elevations balance and stabilize themselves you know the height of himalayas kitna hai what's the height of himalayas height of himalayas if you look at the tallest mountains okay approximately 6 kilometers thick hai okay the height of himalayas the great himalayas approximately 6 kilometers the height of mount everest 8848 is the height of mount everest so how does how does something which is 6 kilometers high remain balanced like this why is it not falling off why is okay this not falling off is the question why because there is some way how this is getting organized why is this not falling down why because this mountain for some reasons has a shape which has a broad base the broad base a uh, helps stabilize the mountain ye jo broad base bana hai this is according to the isostasy principle so isostasy is what isostasy is a principle that determines the stability of the earth's crust isostasy decides how material on the earth's crust is distributed you know the idea continents are thicker oceans are thinner continents can be 60 kilometers thick oceans can be 1 to 3 kilometers thick how how does that happen so isostasy decides how material is distributed and isostasy decides why tall elevations balance and stabilize themselves so quickly some facts here isostasy was the term and coined coined by dutton t u t t o n but uh, roots or you can say the beginnings of uh, this concept was uh, first observed by was first observed by bogger b o u g e r bogger in his andes expedition just some fact that you should know isostasy as a term was coined by this man called dutton dutton but the beginnings of this concept was first observed by a, a french scholar called bogger bogger in his andes expedition okay so bogger had noticed some things bogger had noticed he had noticed that andes despite their massive elevations do not have do not uh, equivalent gravitational pull this was one of the observations of 
Bogar. He noticed that Andes, despite their massive elevations, Andes are very tall. Despite their massive elevations, they do not have equivalent gravitational pull. This is the observation that became the basis of isostasy later on. Okay? What he is saying is that this is the Andes mountains and uh, uh, Bogar, uh, he takes with him pendulum bob. Pendulum bob. Okay, pendulum can swing. Pendulum can swing. Pendulum can swing. And this is man massive Andes mountains. He found that the Andes mountains are not attracting the bob. Okay, what he found was the Andes mountains were not attracting the pendulum bob as much as was expected of their size. This was an observation. Okay, it was an observation. Okay, and the same was also observed for Himalayas later. Okay, what reason tha, he couldn't explain it. But this was one of the observations. The same were observed for Himalayas later. I have told you, you know, four mountains have been one of the most studied features on the earth's surface. Okay. And they found that itna bada mountain, such a huge mountain, but it is not capable of attracting the bob. I hope you understand the gravitational principle, right? If something is large, it has more mass, it must attract more. That was the idea. But they found that Andes is not attracting. Okay, the same thing they found. Himalayas are not attracting. As was expected of their size. As was expected of their size size. These observations, these observations became the basis of isostasy and this word isostasy is actually two words. Okay, it's from the word equipoise. Okay, equipoise basically means equal standing, equal standing. So, this basically implies some kind of a balance. The word isostasy, I said this word, this phrase was coined by Dutton. It means equipoise or equal standing, which basically means balance, some kind of an equilibrium, balance or some kind of an equilibrium.